Hey, what is going on, everybody? Zoe just took a fall here. Come here. Come here. She <laughs> fell off the chair. So that's what I was laughing at. But happy Tuesday, everybody. Um, I hope the start of the week has treated you well. Uh, Zoe and I just got back from a, a long walk here. And so she's uh, hopefully she's wanting some treats today. I'm sure she is. She always is. Um, I'm giving her one of her lesser favorite treats. She's not a big fan of the goldfish. We got Danny D back and she is going to be coming to the Chicago area. I found out um, yeah, we we're just messaging earlier today, but let me say hi to everybody that's here. Kyle was the first to check in. Then uh, right behind Kyle, we had Frankie Floyd with the silver medal and then cruise life TV gets the bronze and then Sherry, right after that, great to see Sherry back again. Sherry, I know you said you were feeling better the last time we chatted, so I hope that has continued in the same direction. Uh, we have uh, Greg and Michelle from Cruise Live TV. Great to see them as always. And Ken checked in just now, and we're already jumped up to over 16 people here. I see Mandy has jumped on. If you've not already checked in, uh, put something in the comments, say hi. And uh, let's say hi to you back. We got Mandy, all almost summertime and two months off. Yep, Mandy is a teacher as well. And uh, Mandy, I think, well, I, I mean, I know our schedules are probably slightly different. But uh, in my case, I think it's about 54 days, something like that. So we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, let's see. I said hi to Sean. Um, JNT Adventures. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Nick is back once again. Great to see you, D Nick. Uh, Danny D, I mentioned just a little bit. And then there's Uncle Dave. He just put a comment on the most recent video I just released. Jim B. Johns is back. Great to see you again. And then we have Aaron, second week in a row. Great to see you, Aaron. And uh, Aaron and I messaged a little while as well. CCA, Carnival Cruise Addicts, and look, CCA, I put you all in a more prominent position here. I was looking at my little coach cruise, and I'm like, well, that's blocking their, their cup, so I got I to gotta raise that up. So we put that on top of the alchemy um, little container thing, and that made it work. And look at this, Yoli, who's going to be visiting us next month. They come to Chicago every summer for a big uh, crawfish boil and everything that their friends have. So they're going to be coming in next month. So we will see them. And she says, let's start with a shot for coach and a treat for Zoe. And I think Zoe will have no problem with that. So high five for Yoli and Andrew. And then there's your treat. She's been looking forward to that. And we still have a little of the proper 12. So we'll get going with that. And we're getting to, uh, uh, Danny D carried over from last week. She was one through five. Give a nice full shot there. So Yoli, thank you for starting us off here. Let me write you down. Uh, so you are number six through 20. And then I have last week, I, I forgot. I wasn't marking all of the, um, the bonus, the bonus, um, Carnival Jubilee souvenir that I was giving away, uh, that I will be giving away. And we are up to, well, now after Yoli, we are at 66 through 70. Once we do a hundred of that, that's going to be a bonus giveaway, a second chance drawing, if you will. So Yoli will put your name right there. And then Cruise Life TV is saying hello to everybody. And then look at this. Sherry is back. She's feeling better. She's feeling good at least at last check. And uh, Sherry, thank you so much. You and Jay are so awesome. Let's get that shot and cheers to you. Some more of the proper 12 with my little pour here thing from Eddie Lugo. And cheers to you, Sherry and Jay. Thank you for that. Let's blow the, let's blow the, the ship horn for that. There we go. We got our loud cup, our uh, little promotion here that they sent me like 15 of these. So um, if you want to go to loud cup, 
these are available. I think they're 20 bucks, uh, but they're an option for you. I know some of you out there have gotten a lot of t-shirts, so you're probably looking for something different. So there you go. That That is an option if you would prefer to have that over a Coach Cruz t-shirt. But thank you for that. And look at that. You just finished a treat and you already got another one coming. So high five for Sherry and Jay. And then let, let's see if you still know how to say thank you. Say thank you. Say thank you. There you go. Good girl. All right. So she still knows. Try to cut back on the barking because, uh, you know, she was doing a little too much of that. So we we cut that down. But Will G is here. What's going on, Will? And CCA is saying hi to people. A lot of people. You're all being friends with one another. That's good to see. T-Boat on the go is here saying hello. Good to see you. T-Boat. And CCA, yep, the cup is in a prominent position there, so all can see it very easily. Chris Sizemore is here saying, what's up, cruisers? Hey, Chris. Uh, Uncle Dave has a question. Who looks forward to the live streams more, me or Zoe? Um, well, it depends how hungry she is, you know? I mean, if I take her on a nice long walk and she hasn't eaten since the morning, I would say definitely her, but she just took this most recent uh, treat outside the office here. So she's enjoying that one. So I think it depends. I think it depends. I really look forward to them, though. So that's a tough call. Uh, let's see here. We have Seg here. Good to see you, Seg. And Jenna Keith, where? Oh, where's Bert? Uh, working, working. And uh, I think we're caught up. Danny D. Yeah, you know, it, it happened. Um, we, we had a, a little, uh, male, uh, mishap or whatever with Danny D, but Danny, we, we talked about that on messenger. We'll get that taken care of, but glad you love the cup. And I know you got the shirt. So good to hear. We got Z's gaming channel. I was just on their, their channel just the other day. And we have Scott from controversial cruising. And I think we're caught up now. I see there's 24 of you in here before I forget if you could hit that like button now. We might be able to draw a few more people in here and uh, into the show and make it a little bigger party than it already is. And I th yeah, I think we're good to go. Uh, Sherry, let me get you down here. So Sherry, you are all the way jumping up from 21 to 70. So we only need 30 more and we'll have the shirt drawing. And Sherry, you are number 71 through 75 for the bonus drawing. So uh, yeah, we're, we're off to a great start with Super Chats. Treat shots, the whole deal. All right. So today's show was supposed to be and is going to be, I, I titled it This or That. So what I did is I tried to, it's kind of like a would you rather type questions um, because I know we have, when we go on cruises, one of the best things about cruising, right, is all the different choices we have, especially in the evenings when there's entertainment in all different places that you get to choose from. Um, that video I released today and the one I released yesterday, you saw some of the live music and Aaron uh, was on that that cruise with me. So she she can testify and, and you can see it for yourself if you watch the videos, but that lady in the vamps and CCA, they're going on the magic in July and, uh, and, and they're hoping after seeing those videos, they're hoping that that band is there. Honestly, probably the, and I've seen some really, really, really good bands. I really have across the whole Carnival fleet. That's probably the best band that I've seen. At least that's the one I've had the most fun with. Um, and Aaron, Aaron always says for Zoe. So let's see here. Aaron, thank you so much. Let's get you up there. And you are going to be numbers 71 through 85 we are only 15 away so big high five for aaron another high five and say thank you 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 okay that was loud enough i guess we don't need to be any louder uh uncle dave look a little parched and zoe looks ready for a treat look at that we we, we got them coming in waves now this is awesome um Uncle Dave, you are going to be numbers 86 through 95. 
I'm going to put UNCD, Unc Dave. All right. And then Aaron, let me get you on the bonus. And you're going to be 76 through 80 on that one. All right. Yeah. So we are on. Look at that. CCA just put us over. So CCA, you're going to be 96 through 100. And then I'm going to start a new super chat. And you're going to be 1 through 10 on that one. So. And I owe a couple shots, don't I? Y'all are going to get me in trouble tonight. All right. So here is Aaron's. We got Aaron, we got Uncle Dave, we got CCA. All right. And I think, well, no, I think we just, I think we just killed the proper 12. We're, we're going to have to go back to the Texas because, uh, all right, Aaron, cheers to you. Look forward to partying again. All right. We got that one there. Uncle Dave, CCA. Man, I tell you what, you all are starting strong today. What are we, five in already, I think? All right. So, Uncle Dave, thank you. Thank you, sir. Ah, the Texas one, me and that one, not so much. These ones aren't aren't um, going down as smooth. Yeah, I mean nothing against Texas. I love Texas, but don't really love that bourbon. I won't be buying it again. But we'll, but we'll do the shots. So there's, there's there's plenty of proof to it. That, that, I don't maybe that's why. All right, CCA, thank you so much. You got some treats coming. Uncle Dave and CCA. Uncle Dave, CCA. Carnival Cruise Addicts. Liz, Chris, Uncle Dave. Say thank you. Good girl. All right. All right. Lost out on some comments here. Let's find them all. Um, and let's get you all up here. We had Uncle Dave right after Aaron with the super chat. And then we had Carnival Cruise Addicts. Right after that, you all are awesome. Now we got to do a shirt drawing. That's what we got to do. Where is my phone? Here we go. All right. So anybody new to the channel, here's how this works. You see my phone is blank there. Um, I just asked Siri for a random number, one through 100. And then she pops up a number there. And whoever the corresponding number is, they win the shirt. All right. So we have... Aaron, one through, oh, I'm sorry. We have Danny D, Danny D, one through five. Yoli, six through 20. Sherry, 21 through 70. Aaron, 71 through 85. Uncle D, 86 through 95. And Carnival Cruise Addicts, 96 through 100. And then Carnival Cruise Addicts is already starting us out on the next Super Chat. They are at numbers one through 10 on that one. All right. Siri, give me a random number, one through 100. 75. And guess what? That is Aaron. Aaron, who got that for Zoe. And Aaron, you just got another shirt or a loud cup. Whatever you want, let me know. <laughs> but you win. Congratulations, Aaron. Your first win on the Coach Cruise Live. Congratulations on your first victory. That's pretty good. I bet that's your second super chat and you already won. So that's pretty good. Well done. All right. Ted is here. And Chris, that is the point. Yeah, Chris is uh, referring to the shots there. Uh, Uncle Dave says, if I were, I swear, if Liz wins another shirt for me, I'm going to quit you too. <laughs> uh, it wasn't Liz. It wasn't Liz. It was Aaron, Uncle, Uncle Dave. Um, all right. Sean says, if I had a $500 Carnival gift card, I would definitely choose an XL class ship, Mardi Gras celebration, or Jubilee. And you know what? That's related to some of the questions we have going on today. Uh, so there we go. Aaron says, seeing that it doesn't go down smooth makes me just want to buy another one. Yeah, she, she's she got that that little, uh, 
that little streak in her, you know? So, yeah, I believe that from you, Aaron. Uh, Ted says, I came in late. I must have missed a lot. You just missed a lot of shots, Ted. That's what you missed. All right. Yeah, Danny D says, congrats, Aaron. And yes, congrats, Cruise Live TV. Yay. Um, yeah, you can get a different color because Aaron already has one, one color. I think she has the lime green that I'm wearing, actually. Uh, Sherry says, congratulations. Ted does, too. Uncle Dave, all right. Everybody's so nice and good, good sports and everything. Congratulating. That's cool. All right, so we haven't even got to the first question yet. All right, so the first question... I got, I got a bunch of these questions. So you're going to all enter in the comments. I mean, there's no, this isn't a competition or anything like that. But um, this first question may not apply to everybody because I know we have some newer cruisers. Um, so you haven't gotten an opportunity to try these out because, you know, you just started cruising. So you don't know. Um, so if you don't know one or if it doesn't apply to you, you don't have to answer or if you want to, you know, think what, you know, you would prefer, then obviously put that in the comments. But here's the first question. So on almost, I think, just about every single Carnival ship, even the smallest of the ships, there's a steakhouse. Maybe, maybe not the smallest. Pretty sure. I don't know. I, I can't remember there not being a steakhouse on a ship that I've been on recently. So I think there's a steakhouse on every one. Now, there is not, there is not a bonsai teppanyaki on every ship those are mostly on the xl class ships and the vista class ships so like the horizon has a teppanyaki the panorama i believe has a teppanyaki and i think uh, maybe maybe the uh venezia i'm not quite sure on that one i think it does though uh, off the top of my head so here's the question would you prefer the steakhouse and everybody knows the steakhouse or uh, bonsai teppanyaki. For those of you that want to just guess on which you'd prefer, the teppanyaki is where they have a personal chef in front of a small group of people, like 10 to 11 people. And you all just sit there and they they chop up the steak or the lobster or the chicken or the shrimp or whatever it is, that whatever meat that you request. And then they, they serve you right there. And it's kind of like a little show that they put on and everything. It's roughly the same price as the steakhouse. The steakhouse is a more, I guess, elegant or more formal dining. Um, you don't always have to be super formal going in there, but it's it's kind of in that realm. So that is the first question, uh, bonsai, teppanyaki, or the steakhouse? CCA says steakhouse just because they can do vegetarian easily. Ken Steakhouse, Seg Steak. Will G says bonsai. Ted is going with the steak. The 555 is the steakhouse um, on several ships. Mandy says steakhouse. Crystal, welcome to the show. I didn't mention you earlier. Uh, uh, she says steakhouse. Look at this. It's almost a clean sweep. Everybody going steakhouse. I would choose the steakhouse too, but I didn't think it would be that much of a clean sweep. I mean, we did have one or two bonsai uh, teppanyakis. But I think that, I mean, I really do like the bonsai teppanyaki, but all right. This next one is, is a first time. You know, some of these would you rathers I've repeated more than once, but this is a first time. So here's the question, because I know almost all of you that have at least been on a carnival ship, you know these two bars. So we're going to compare the alchemy bar with the red frog bar. All right. Here's the question. This or that. Would you rather have three drinks at the alchemy bar or four drinks at the red frog bar? Three drinks at alchemy or four drinks at red frog. So just put alchemy or red frog. You get an extra drink if you go to red frog. Three drinks at Alchemy or four drinks at Red Frog? That is the question. That is the would you rather. Hey, CCA, you don't have to apologize to anybody. You're getting an extra drink. <laughs> All right. So this, this is a little more divided, but it kind of went the way that I thought. 
Yoli says, that's a hard one. I say both. <laughs> so Yoli's just doing seven drinks at once. Yoli, I didn't know you drank like that. I didn't know it was that. I didn't know you, you had that in you. Uh, let's see. Cruise Nuts. Cruise Nuts is here. We haven't seen you in a while. Great to see you here, Cruise Nuts. And Chris said Red Frog. He's getting that extra drink. Will says Alchemy. Cruise Life TV, Alchemy. Aaron, Alchemy. And I converted Aaron and her sister on the magic. They didn't thank me for it, though. At least I don't remember if they did. But yeah, they, they had gone to the alchemy and, and to their defense, to their defense, the first drink that they ordered, it was too sweet or something like that. And so that kind of turned them off. And then after I met them, I said, oh, you got to give it a second chance. I was like, they can make it less sweet. They can do this. They can do that. They can make your own drinks, whatever. And uh, so they they did. They gave it a second chance. And then like the last three, four days, you know, we were hanging out, listening to Lady in the Vamps, watching the live band, uh, you know, hanging out at the Alchemy and everything. And then they were all about it. So, yeah, totally. Um, CCA says Red Frog with a sorry coach in parentheses. I mean, I don't work for Alchemy or anything. I like them, but uh, you don't have to apologize. T-Boat on the go wants that extra drink, too. Ken says Alchemy. Cruise Nuts, Alchemy. Jenna Keith, Alchemy. Yoli, Alchemy. Sean Red Frog. See, now with the extra drink, this made it a little more balanced. And look at that. We got four Red Frogs in a row. Mandy, Jim B. Johns, Crystal. Uh, Ted doesn't apply. So I don't know. Ted, I don't know. Are you not a drinker? Maybe. Maybe that's why it doesn't apply. Uh, Justin says Red Frog. Justin, I don't, are you old enough to drink, Justin? That's, that's a fair question. Uh, but I guess... You know, maybe that's why you like Red Frog, because you can get, you know, non-alcoholic. Well, you know what? You can get the best non-alcoholic drinks at uh, Alchemy, for sure, for sure, because Logan got a couple. I even got a couple for him, so I know all about that. Um, Frankie Floyd says, that's not a fair question to me. Sherry says, Alchemy, Carnival Cruise Addicts is saying, hello, Cruise Nuts. Chris says Red Frog is more fun. Ooh, that's debatable. That's debatable, Chris. Aaron says if it's beer pong night, then Red Frog. Otherwise, Alchemy. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good good point there. Um, Cruz, uh, Chris says Red Frog because it is outside. Yeah, there is an outside option to Red Frog, so that's a good point. Uncle Dave and Zoe's up here trying to steal all the treats at once. Got to give her a little forearm shiver or elbow shiver. Uh, Uncle Dave says, yes, y'all hit the thumbs up. So if you haven't already liked the show today, if you could hit that like button, that would be awesome. And he said, Red Frog drinks were stronger on the Vista. Okay, good to know. Because, Mandy, I'm going on the Vista New Year's Eve. So I appreciate that inside information. Uh, Cruise Net says, Coach been traveling unannounced. That is why I haven't been around to all the channels. Not that much time. Oh, Okay. Hey, no worries. Well, you know, I yeah, appreciate you being here now. Oh, Justin. Okay, 22. All right. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Um, oh, wow. Okay. I didn't. Well, see, that's that's all I know. Uh, so, yeah, that's good to know, Justin. Well, we'll see you at the Alchemy or we'll see you at the Red Frog next time we're on a cruise together. Uh, Sherry says the Alchemy bar is always hopping. Cheers. Fireball Steve is back from a cruise. Fireball Steve, put in the comments, what cruise ship did you just come off of? And Fireball Steve is an avid photographer, so he's always posting really cool pics on the Coach Cruise page, the Coach Cruise page and the Island Time page. Those are your two favorite channels, right, Fireball Steve? Um, Uncle Dave, I don't care what the bar is. If there's alcohol, I'm there. Uncle Dave, I, uh, I can't disagree with you, but if I have options, then I have options and, and you know, I'm going to go somewhere. Chuck 1974 says, hi, dude. Hi, dude. Um, welcome to the channel. Jenna Keith says, actually, I'd prefer Red Frog Pub over Alchemy, but Alchemy over Red Frog bar on Lido. Yeah, well, that would be cool to see Alchemy on the Lido. I would like to see that. Glenn B is here. What's up? Salute from Marseille. Hey, what's up, Glenn B? Thanks for coming on. Appreciate you. All right. So we're caught up with that. 
I got another question for you. All right, so this one is a food question. We just did a drink question. We're switching to food now. This is a tough question, I think. I think this one could be really divided. So this is all you can eat at either place, all right? So here's your, your choice. All you can eat sushi rolls at Bonsai Sushi. All you can eat Bonsai Sushi rolls. Or all you can eat peel and eat shrimp and fish and chips at the seafood shack. So put either Bonsai or seafood shack. Or you could just put Bonsai or shack. All right, so all you can eat sushi rolls, the rolls, not shishimi, the rolls. All you can eat sushi rolls or all you can eat peel and eat shrimp and fish and chips. That is the question. What is your choice? All right. CCA says seafood shack. Will G is seafood shack because he picked shrimp. Um... Aaron is going bonsai because she said sushi. Seg says seafood. So that is, well, they're, they're, Seg, they're both kind of seafood <laughs> in a way. So you got to be a little more specific because sushi is fish. And, you know, uh, Chris says peel and eat shrimp. So that is seafood shack. T boat on the go, seafood shack. Chris, seafood shack. Jenna Keith, seafood. Uh, controversial cruising. Scott says, give me them rolls. He's going to bonsai. Ken says bonsai. Crystal, neither. Don't want to mess with the fish or the shrimp. Uh, Sherry is going with the sushi from bonsai. Cruise Life TV says seafood shack. See, this is a much more even contest here. Jim B. Jaunt says shack don't eat sushi. <laughs> uh, so I guess that means he's going to uh, the seafood shack. Uh, CCA says uh, occasional shrimp. Uh, Crystal, Crystal's skipping them both. She's going to guys. Frankie Floyd says, I, I do have a guy's question coming up, Crystal. So hold on to that thought there. Uh, Frankie Floyd says, Bonsai, I live in Florida, so we have plenty of shrimp. Yoli says, Bonsai for Andrew and shrimp for me. Um, that is a fair question. Proudish, um, let's see. Proudish cuckle? Uh, very, that's a, I, I think that's a super chat. <laughs> um, we're going to put you down in any way. I'm going to write that down. I think that is, uh, but welcome proudish cucky. If I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anthony on the move is here. Hello everyone. Uncle Dave says seafood shack without a doubt. All right. Cruise life TV. A lot of people don't know this, but you can get a full fried red snapper. At the Seafood Shack. I did not know that, Greg and Michelle. So thank you for that information because Red Snapper is pretty awesome. Um, sea bass. Oh, my God. Sea bass. Do they have sea bass there? Because I had the most amazing sea bass on the Carnival Jubilee when I was down there for the VIP event. And wow. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Chris says that's a pound coach um, or euro. Yeah. All right, very cool. Haven't haven't had that before. So proudish cucky. We gotta write you down here. All right, so that would make eleven, I guess. Um yeah, Cruise Life TV says sea bass is great, but I don't think so. And GB Johns, yes, thank you, proud cucky 710. And welcome to the channel, because I have not seen you here before. I have a little high noon here. I have a little uh, gumball ahead. It's a brew by Three Floyds Brewery. It's really good. And now I'm good and ready for the next question. Oh, I like this question. I was happy when I wrote this question down. This is going to make you think. Some of you that aren't the biggest drinkers are going to have to think about this one. Some of you that are the big drinkers, I think this will be an easy question for you. I'm looking at you, CCA. Um, here's the, the this or that. You can have this. This is the cheers package. It's going to cost you $500. You know, 
or well so no, let me rephrase that you can get the cheers package and you get the cheers package right that's that's included that that would normally for a one week cruise is going to cost you roughly $500 okay so you can get you can have the cheers package boom it's yours it's it's you got it you're good you can get 15 drinks a day or you can have $1000 on board credit so twice as much money $1,000 on board credit to spend as you choose. Spend it at the casino and, and none of the tricks, no tricks. You can't do the thing, well, I'm going to cash it in and then I'm going to go buy the cheers package. Nope. Nope. It's all got to be spent in the casino or somewhere else. You can't go buy the cheers package with it or anything else. Okay. So $1,000 on board credit, but you buy all your drinks. So you can use this $1,000 onboard credit, but you know you can use it to buy excursions. You can use it to buy food in the specialty dining. You can use it to buy souvenirs. You can use it whatever. Or you can have the cheers package. One person for the cheers package is roughly $500 for a week. I'm going to give you double that in onboard credit, but you have to pay for all your own drinks. You have to pay for all of them. Okay, so what you're going to choose? The cheers package or the thousand dollars on board credit. All right, let's see who our big drinkers are. Look at this. Look at everybody taking the thousand. See, and you know, yeah, thank, thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. Because, you know, yeah, I drank with Aaron, so I know she's gonna hit her 15. If you add up for those of you that are gonna hit like 10 drinks on average a day, the cheers package is the wiser selection there. So all of you that are taking this 1,000, I'm assuming you're not going to average 10 drinks a day. So, yeah, okay. But if that's the case, cool, cool. You know, all good. I thought this would be more cheers. I really did. Um, Aaron was first with cheers. No surprise there, Aaron. Uh, Cruise Nuts says 1,000. Will G, 1,000. Jenna, Jenna is going to take the 1,000. Yoli is going to take the 1,000. Um, Uncle Dave's. Uh, referring to the last question, Red Snapper on the Smoker was awesome. CCA 1000, and yeah, because CC, I know you guys get your drinks in the casino, so that makes sense. Cruise Live TV is 1000. Crystal, I, I'm really surprised. I thought this would be closer. I was so happy with this question, and all of you aren't as big a drinkers as me, which I'm a little concerned about my drinking now. Um, okay. Chris Sizemore says, cheers package to $500 is a great deal compared to the drink package on Icon. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, controversial cruising, like regular price, Frankie Floyd, 1000 Okay. All right. But, you know, the onboard credit, you can't spend it toward drinks. Okay. T-boat on the go. I'm way behind on questions here. Y'all are great on the comments here. This is great. Way to go. T-boat, I cruise with casino deals, so all my drinks are included. T-boat. I feel like I spend enough in the casino that I should get all these drinks all over the ship like everybody else, like yourself, tells me. And I have not gotten it yet. The best I've ever gotten is Ultra. I've never gotten that Elite or Epic or whatever the heck it's called. Chris, thank you. We got another cheers package. So Chris, Aaron, and I, we're all going to be at the Alchemy Bar drinking and you all can pay $15 a drink for your drink. And you can't use your onboard credit for the drinks. Remember, that's separate. So there. <laughs> Jenna Keith says, we have only had the cheers package on the cruise. We went on with you guys. After the pub crawl, we real realized we will never get the drink. Oh, okay. Well, hey, you know what, Jenna? That's fair. And um, I'm glad you tried it out. And yeah, that's uh, Sherry says, I always get a free drink package. So, yeah, that would make sense to get the onboard credit there. Uh, let's see. Uncle Dave, can I pin it on the drink package? If not, then the cheers package. All right, Uncle Dave, we got a conversion there. I like it. Yeah. No, you can't You can't use the onboard credit to buy the drink package. That, that was a, uh, a point at the beginning. 
Um, Cruise Life TV says I purchase everything with my e-cards. The 10% adds up very fast. Yes. And this is a separate little side conversation. But those of you like AARP, and again, you could be 12 years old and join AARP and buy the gift cards. And with the gift cards, you get 10% off. So if you have a $2,000, you know, cruise or whatever, um, just take $200 off that price because you can use the gift cards towards the purchase of that cruise. And now the the, the cruise only costs you $1,800 because that's how much the gift cards are going to cost you for four or $500 gift cards. So absolutely, um, those of you that don't know that, I have videos on it. Cruise Life TV probably does as well. CCA as well. Uh, Crystal says, I honestly thought I would have drank more, but I really didn't, surprisingly. Uh, Will G, you just got to start earlier, Crystal. <laughs> start early at Sea Day brunch or something. Will G says, don't get the drink package because they make both of us get it. Oh, yeah. You know, that's a good point. Um, the bad thing about the cheers package, if you have two people in the room and one of them is not a big drinker, then, you know, yeah, it, it kind of cuts into the, the value uh, Joanne Paleo. Hey coach, just finished watching your horizon video tour. You have the best tour. I'm leaving Sunday on it. Tell me I will like it. It looks great. I will be wearing your coach cruise t-shirt. Joanne, that is an awesome, awesome comment. So awesome that we were going to put it on the screen. Um, and yes, just so you know, Joanne, that is my next ship that I'm going on June 8th, the carnival horizon. And I love it so much, I'm going back on it Thanksgiving. Uh, so that is probably my favorite ship amongst the entire Carnival fleet. Uh, you know, one thing I don't like about some of what Carnival is doing now is like when it gets late and you still want to hang out and talk with people and socialize and party and everything else like that. You know, like on the Magic, for example, the only place you could go was the casino. Um, on the Carnival Horizon, the guys picking anchor bars open late. So, you know, that's cool. You know, it's an actual bar and it's a really good bar with really good drinks and really good liqueurs. Um, and then the Havana area is a lot of fun. Um, I mean, if you're staying in the Havana area, it's awesome. So, yeah. Uncle Dave says, AARP, here I come. Yeah, Uncle Dave, you those 10% off gift cards from Carnival. I mean, it costs you like, 10 or 12 bucks a year to join AARP. And uh, all I ever do with it is just buy gift cards. And I promise you, since I joined them, it keeps track of how much money you've saved. I've saved almost $6,000. No joke from buying those gift cards. Look at that Cruise Life TV. Here we go. We were due for another shot. And you know what? We're, we're going to try something crazy here. There's just a tiny bit of this proper 12, but I'm hoping that it makes this Texas one taste better. So Greg and Michelle, we're, we're doing a little science experiment here. And Zoe, come here. Come here, get another treat. High five, high five for Greg and Michelle. High five, Greg. High five from Michelle and say thank you. Good girl. All right. And thank you, Greg and Michelle, Cruise Life TV. Here we go. A little, maybe not. I was about to say a little better, but I can't wait till this is gone. But what, you know what? Hopefully next week we get through it. Um, yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you all. I, I have exciting news. And you know what? Here, yeah, so exciting that I'm going to give 10 free, 10 free uh, in the super chat. And as a matter of fact, let me put down Cruise Life TV. You are numbers 12 through, what was that there? 20, uh, 12 through 31. 12 through 31, and then also on the bonus Cruise Life TV, you are 81 through 
85. All right, so we're only 15 away from the, the bonus uh, second drawing or whatever. Um, now here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write this down. This is going to be 32 through 41. Okay. I was saving this. Blanton's, for those of you that know bourbon, is a very good bourbon. For those of you that like the John Wick movies, whenever you see John Wick drinking, this is what he's drinking. It's a very good bourbon. All right. So I was saving this back here, and this is why it's behind me, for 10,000 subscribers. I'm quite a ways from 10,000 subscribers. We're not even up. We're just under 7,000 now. But I'm going to open this before that for one reason. So the first person who gets in the comments why I'm going to open this, and it's related to the channel. It's not related to subscribers. I will give you a hint. It's not going to be 7,000. It's not going to be 8,000. It's not going to be 9,000. It's not going to be related to subscribers, but it is related to something to the channel. I can't give you more than that without like telling you the answer. Um, but whoever gets it, I'm going to put 10, 10 free entries into the, uh, the super chat here. So if somebody does it, I'm real close to a milestone. It's not. Yes, Sean got it. Sean got it. Okay, so we are very, very close to one million. One million. Just like Dr. Evil says, one million. We're very close to one million views. Um, we are, I don't know, 35,000, something like that. But basically, within about a month, less than a month, we should hit 1 million views. That's a nice little milestone. So I'm going to open one of these bad boys, you know, for the next Super Chats. Uh, and I promise you, it will taste one hell of a lot better <laughs> than this right here. So, so I'm looking forward to hitting that million. And uh, one of these bottles will be getting opened. That is the Blantons. And Danny D, while we were talking about it here, Sean Abel gets the 10 free entries. Uh, you are numbers 32 through 41. So congratulations on that. And Danny D wants to give Zoe a treat. So high five. That's it. Oh, I got a kiss on the nose. You see it? High five for Danny D. Say thank you to Danny D. Good girl. All right. Thank you, Danny D. And Danny D, you are numbers 42 through 46. And you got me a kiss on the nose even. Beautiful. So Sean nailed it. He said 1 million views, and that's it. We are closing in on 1 million views. Uh, thank all of you for, you know, watching the channel, for supporting the channel. Uh, appreciate it so much. Uh, Cruise Nuts, T-Boat on the go said anniversary date. Um, that's a great guess. My anniversary date is, date is actually July 2nd. July 2nd, we will be three years old. Three years old, July 2nd. Uh, Crystal says review. Sherry says anniversary. Cruise Life TV says, way to go, coach. Congratulations, Sean. Uncle Dave, Sean. CCA, awesome. T-Boat on the go says, that's a lot of views. Uh, Sean says, I'm responsible for about 100,000 views. Look at that. Well, you know what? We'll put that up there too then. Crystal says, that's an awesome bottle. It is an awesome bottle. Yeah, and people collect the, the tops. I'm one of those people. Um, so thank you for that. Joanne says, congrats. You deserve it. And look at this. We got CCA. I think... I think that wants to just see that look on my face when I drink another shot of this Texas whiskey. <laughs> Thank you, CCA. Carnival Cruise Addicts, Liz and Chris, are 47 through 61. The math gets harder after you've had several shots. 
I'm promising you that the math gets harder. All right. So CCA, I feel like half of this is because you want to see the look on my face when I do this Texas whiskey that I don't like. I really don't like it. I thought I would like it, obviously, because I bought the bottle. Um, this one scared me now. All right. I got a chaser, though. Ah. Okay, we, we survived. Whew. Ugh. Okay. I'm not buying that whiskey again. Um, yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Cruise Life TV says prices look on your yeah, I know it. Um, okay. So last, oh, we got more questions. All right. I, I got so many more questions. So many more. All right. Next question. All right. You can do ATVs. So most of you have done a Caribbean cruise. You've gone to these Caribbean islands and everything else. And usually on these Caribbean islands, one of your choices, if you're going to do a cruise excursion, is ATVs. You know, you get to go on the four wheelers and roll all over the place um and this is carnival cruise at sit high five liz and chris again say thank you say thank you say thank you you better say thank you you're not gonna get it say thank you say thank you good girl all right gotta gotta teach him manners right um all right so atvs atvs Caribbean Island, zipping around in four wheelers, you got the ocean there on the side as you're zipping around in your four wheeler, going through the jungle, doing all that fun stuff. Or catamaran with snorkeling and an open bar. So you're going to put either ATV or catamaran. You got your choice. You get to go on the ATV or you get an open bar. You're out on the water and you get to snorkel too. So snorkeling, open bar on the catamaran or the ATV. Catamaran, ATV. Catamaran, ATV. Those are your choices. Put it in the comments. Let's see what you got. Cruise Life says, ATV, say no more. Carnival. Wow, we got a lot of, a lot of comments here on this one. That is great participation. Uh, CCA says catamaran, cruise nuts, catamaran, Joanne, catamaran, Yoli is taking the ATV, Danny D says catamaran, I want that open bar, uh, cruise live TV, oh man, you stuck the bar choice in there, I say, oh, cruise live TV switch to catamaran, because they got the open bar, you can't drink while you're driving an ATV, right, and Mandy says catamaran, I saw Mandy drinking those blue notes in the piano bar. So I know she's all about the open bar. Uh, Frankie Floyd, Catamaran, hands down. Jim B, Catamaran. Will G, Catamaran. Uh, Ken is ATV. Brad H is here. ATV in St. Martin. Brad is skipping the booze to go four-wheeling. All right. Well, welcome, Brad H., our resident comedian. Uh, Sean says catamaran every time. Aaron, catamaran if I have drama mean. Uh, Jenna Keith, catamaran. Come on, Aaron. You're an army person. You, you can handle it. You don't need no drama mean. Fireball Steve says catamaran. Chris Kakins is here. What's going on, Chris? He says, Coach, Sherry's doing the catamaran. Uh, no worries, Chris. Controversial Cruising Scott says Catamaran, Catalina Wine Mixer. Yes, Catalina Wine Mixer. Does the singing come with it? Um, Cruise Life TV is saying, hey to Chris. And Mandy, yeah, is laughing at my comment. Brad H says, no, never skip booze. How dare you for implying sobriety? Loaded up ahead of time, maybe. <laughs> there is our resident comedian. Okay. I got another question for you. This is desserts. See, I tried to make this a round topic 
you know, question, make it a little difficult on you all, give you some different thoughts, you know, food, drinks, you know, excursions. And now we're getting to desserts. So here is your dessert question. Would you like a milkshake from the cafe, the coffee place, the Java Blue on, on many of the carnival ships, it's called Java Blue, but a milkshake, and those milkshakes are divine. They are delicious. Or your choice of, you get two choices here. You get the milkshake. So in other words, you're at dinner, they're offering you dessert, and you're like, nah, I'm going to go get a milkshake. Or they're offering dessert, and you have your choice of the chocolate melting cake with vanilla ice cream and peanut butter or creme brulee. You get either one of those. You get either one of those. So put MDR or cafe or put milkshake or MDR. So MDR means you're, you're taking your choice of the chocolate melting cake or creme brulee. And if you put cafe, that means you're taking the milkshake. Or if you put milkshake, you're obviously taking the milkshake. Uh, Carnival Cruise Addict says, though he's hungry. She has eaten enough. This dog has eaten enough. But I'll just give her another little cheese block because you said so. Uh, Controversial Cruising says, you know what they say about my... <laughs> See, are you trying to take over for Brad H? Brad H, you got competition there. Uh, milkshake or I get shrimp cocktail at MDR for dessert because I hate sweets. All right. Hey, nothing. I, I feel you on that. Uh, Cruise Nut says cake. Carnival Cruise Addict says the creme brulee MDR. Chris is MDR. Uh, so creme brulee is M MDR, MDR, MDR. Oh, wow. Okay, Fireball Steve says spiked milkshake. I didn't make it that specific, but I feel you on that, Fireball Steve. I definitely feel you on that because that bourbon milkshake in the cafe, and it, and it counts It counts as one drink of your 15, but the bourbon milkshake, if they offer that on your Carnival Cruise, oh, my God, it is divine. It is divine. You got to get that bourbon milk. If you like bourbon and then you want dessert to go along with it, the bourbon milkshake, Fireball Steve is on it. So spiked milkshake, he right there. Ken says the milkshake. Jenna says none of those. Give me bitter and blanc all day, every day. Um, that is a good dessert, too. I've had that one. T-boat on the go, creme brulee all day. They need to add that to the daily dessert menu. You know what, T-boat? I can't disagree with you on that. Creme brulee, I mean, that's amazing. It's an amazing... The thing that I don't like about the creme brulee sometimes, T-boat, is sometimes when I'm the MDR, the, the little shell on top, there has to be a shell. It has to be a shell. It has to be something that you crack. You know, if they don't have a hard enough shell on there, it kind of, you know, it's not the best. Um, so, yeah, I like when there's that little shell on there. And then, you know, obviously, yeah, you, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Brad H says lactose intolerant, a shake would make me compete with. The <laughs> All right. So. So, again, he's a resident comedian for a reason. Frankie Floyd says milkshake with a shot of liquor in it. Yeah. Spiked milkshake. Absolutely. Scott says, my milkshake brings all the girls to the Lido. Mandy says, MDR creme brulee. Danny D, neither, because I can't have ice cream. I'm allergic to it, and I always get sorbet when we get ice cream. Well, yeah, I'm uh, sorry for that one, Danny. But um, plenty of other options there, so I'm glad you have other options. That's a good thing about cruising. Because there's always other options. And Yoey says banana split. Ha ah. And you know what? I've ordered that now. When I found out that you can order that anytime, it's on the kids menu. But for you adults out there, and I'm talking about me because I've done it. Um, if you want a banana split, you can, you can order it. So just keep that in mind. All right. So. 
I went on the Carnival Magic recently, right? And I love, I love the violin trio. I always do. Every there's never been any cruise that I've gone on where I'm like, oh, you know, like this violin trio, I don't think so much of. Every one of them, every one of them has been really, really good. Really, really good. All right. So the bands most of the time have been really great. This lady in the vamps on the Carnival Magic that I was just on was fabulous. But the question, if you have the choice, based on, on all of your cruise experience, if you have a choice of viewing the band or the violin trio, what is going to be your choice? The band or the violin trio? You're going to have a drink and watch one or the other. Which is going to be your choice, the band or the violin trio? So put band or violin, band or violin. That is your choice here. Oh, I know Aaron, because Aaron and I were there. We were there. So we were all about Lady and the Vamps. Absolutely. But the violin trio is pretty good. We got a lot of votes on this one. I like it. Carmel Cruz Attic says violin trio is more consistent. That's a good comment. Aaron says band. And uh, again, Aaron was on the same cruise I just got off of. So we know. We know how good they were. Um, so I totally relate to that. Mandy says violin. Fireball Steve says the band. Ken band. JNT band. CruiseNet says the violin trio, T-Boat on the go. See, this was pretty divided. I like it. I like it when it's divided. Uh, T-Boat band, Will G band, Crystal violin, Danny D violin, Tess. Oh, Tess, welcome, welcome. I guess you came in late, or at least this is your first time. Travel with Nick. Travel with Nick has his own channel. And I don't know if I've seen you on here before, Travel with Nick. But, um, yeah, this Travel with Nick has... So much energy, so much energy. I watch them and I get tired. So, um, you know, if you like uh, young people with a lot of energy, definitely go check out Travel with Nick. He says the violin trio. Frankie Floyd says the band Joanne Paleo violin. Sherry is going with the band. Jim B says band. Jenna Keith band. I will be on the magic this Saturday. So I'll have to check them out. Oh, Jenna Keith. Oh, my God. Like you're making Aaron and myself jealous right now because we so, so enjoyed Lady in the Vamps. That girl has pipes. She can so sing. And the rest of the band, her supporting cast is so good as well. So um, Jenna, you know, enjoy yourself. Make a point to, to, to enjoy Lady in the Vamps. They are so good. They are so good. And most of the time, they're playing in the Ocean Plaza right next to the Alchemy Bar. So you can hopefully secure a seat at the Alchemy Bar there and then just watch them from the Alchemy Bar. Uh, but, yeah, definitely great. We got David Storm. David Storm is here. He says band. Brad H. says band violinist I've seen have been kind of meh. You know what? Brad H. on the Magic. You know, uh, the, the couple girls they had singing there were kind of wow, at least uh, to look at. And they played really well, too. <laughs> so I don't think you'd have been disappointed if you were on the Magic. Uh, Frank Floyd says that one band did a great job. Absolutely. Will G cruised with Nick on the Jubilee. Great young man. Yes, he is. Uh, Frankie says she did a great Fleetwood Mac. Absolutely. I mentioned that to Aaron earlier today, actually. Um, regards to Stevie Nicks, at least I think, yeah. Uh, Travel Nick says, I appreciate you, coach. It was great to quickly see you in the cruise terminal for the inaugural ceremony. Absolutely. Uh, together we travel is here. Uh, welcome together we travel. And Carmel Cruise Addict says, Hey, Will, at Together We Travel. Absolutely. All right. I got another question. No, I haven't even gotten through. I think we're just closing in on half of the questions. All right. So I, I did this at either or because 
most carnival ships don't have a Shaq's chicken. So I'm giving you the option here. It is Shaq's chicken or the blue iguana. So your tacos, your burritos. So you have tacos, burritos, and Shaq's chickens versus Guy's burger. Shaq's chicken or blue iguana. Shaq's chicken or blue iguana. Either one of them versus Guy's burgers. Which is your choice? And look at that. We got Derek, our brother channel, checking in. Home from coaching baseball. He's coaching not one, but both of his sons. Um, so welcome, Derek and Amanda from Island Time. Look at this. Look at this. Guys, Burgers is the icon of Carnival, right? So why are you all picking Shaq's? Tess, Tess is here. Tess is here. Welcome, Tess. Tess says Shaq's travel with Nick says Shaq's. Yoli says guys. Mandy says Shaq's. Island Time says Shaq's is where it's at. Fireball Steve, Shaq's. Ken, Shaq's. Jenna Keith, Shaq's. Together we travel, Shaq's. Big Chicken. Carnival Careers Addicts is saying, hey, I'm with Shaq's, but I'm doing the tacos or the burrito. Blue Iguana. Crystal Vanover says, guys, all day long, in all caps, to like basically just slap everybody else that had just said guy or uh, Shaq's chick. <laughs> Sherry is going with the tacos and burritos too. Blue Iguana Jim B says, Shaw Shank. I'm guessing that is for Shaq. Uh, Frankie Floyd is like, I'm skipping all that. I'm going to the Mongolian walk. Okay, I appreciate that. t boat on the go said, guys, so we got another guys there. I did not think that this would be as lopsided. I'm surprised. You know, I'm not surprised because I love Shaq's as well. But I thought it would be, I thought there would be more guys love. But Shaq's chicken, for those of you out there that have tried it, is awesome. Big old fried up piece of, you know, chicken. And you can get it grilled too. Not everybody knows that. You can get it grilled as well. Jim B. John says Shaq's. Joanne Paleo says love guys. Burgers haven't been on a ship with Shaq's. Well, you know, and, and that's honestly, Joanne, that's the reason that I clumped um, the tacos and burritos with Shaq's is because I realized just what you said right there. That's why I did that. Sean says it's very close, but I choose blue iguana. Um, good answer there. Aaron says blue iguana because Shaq's doesn't apply to me, and tacos are always better than burgers. And you know what? I would probably lean that way as well. I've been really enjoying blue iguana and the tacos. Like I did the tacos once, I did the guys' burgers once, and I honestly I enjoyed my tacos more than I did, enjoyed my guys' burger. Not to say I didn't enjoy my guy's burger, but I just enjoyed my tacos more. Sorry for anybody that offends. Uh, Brad H says, looking forward to exploring the shack. Crystal is laughing. We got another new one in here. We got In My Cruising Era. Says, guys, welcome to the show. Glad to have you here. T-Boat says, try Chaks and Celebration. I was not impressed. Never had Blue Iguana. Wow. Well, you definitely got to check out Blue Iguana. And the tacos and burritos are really good. And the toppings bar is on point. Um, Joanne says, I hear Shaq's chicken is delicious. Probably had to pick between the two. Justin says, give me the burgers. The burgers are really good, Justin. I can't argue with you. Mandy says, guys. Need the old fries back. So they switched up the fries. She wants the old ones back. Jenna Keith on Liberty last week. The guys' burgers were really dry. Never had that happen before. Wow, that's surprising. Yeah, I've never had that happen either. Um, Aaron says, I'm old and need to go <laughs> to my 27th step. Yeah, Aaron, you are old. We talked about this before. But that's okay. I'm old too. So it's it's all good. You know, everybody can be old. It's just, you know, how you take care of yourself. So so no worries there. 
Um, all right. And she says, all right. So Aaron, we will see you later. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for the super chat. We have another question. This one is a really simple one. Really, really simple one. This shouldn't be difficult. Just want to see where we're divided here. Ice cream cup or cone? So when you go to the little free ice cream stand, do you put your ice cream in a cup or do you put it in a cone? So put cup or cone. Cup or cone. That's what you're putting here. Cup or cone. Crystal says cup. Then Cruise Life, cone. Fireball, cone. Frankie, cone. Brad H, cup. Mandy, cone. Yoey, cone. CCA, cone. Jenna, cone. Sean, cup. Ken Cohn Venture Cast, welcome to the show. Says Cup T Boat on the Go says Cohn in my cruising era. <laughs> uh, controversial Cruising says I take one of the cups from the Lido. Yeah, JT Adventures Cup Test says Cup with orange soda. Will G is calling it a night. Thank you, Will, for coming in. Sherry's passing on the the ice cream, maybe the lactose. Uh, Brad eight says two swirls, one cup, and uh, JNT Adventures. Yeah, all right, cool. All right, so the next one, this one is ship related. Again, I tried to change these questions up quite a bit. So let's see what we got here. Um, now, the Vista class, for those of you that don't know, that is the Carnival Vista, the Carnival Horizon, and the Carnival Panorama. So you're putting those three ships against the Carnival Mardi Gras, the Carnival Celebration, and the Carnival Jubilee. Which is your class of ship? Which class of ship would you rather go on? Put Vista or XL, E-X-C-E-L. EX, or you could just put X, you know, that could work too. So which is your preferred class of ship? The Vista class or the XL class? All right. So Venture Cast says the XL. Will G, Vista class. Jenna, Vista uh, Carnal Cruise Addicts XL, Jim B XL, Tough Call Cruise Life TV says, but XL, Sean XL, Ken, I'm assuming is XL, just says L there. T Boat on the Go is Vista Class, Mandy, yeah, Mandy, you know, she that's her dilemma right now. Um, she's booking her cruise tonight. Crystal is all of the above. I've only been on the breeze so far. Yeah, so both of those classes are, are bigger. The Vista is a little bigger, and the XL is way bigger, um, if that helps you any, Crystal. Ken is going with the XL. Yoli, the XL. Joanne, the Vista class. Frankie, XL. Mandy, XL. Cruise Life TV says, love them all for different reasons. Jimmy Johns, love them both. Tess says, Vista, even though don't much like the Vista, love Horizon XL too big. And uh, Fireball, Steve, uh, Fireball Steve says, I really like both. In my cruising era, XL did not like the Vista. Sherry says both. And you know what? This is a, uh, this is a, a twist for me. Um, if I'm on the Carnival Horizon, I love the Carnival Horizon. It's easily one of my favorite ships. If I'm on the Carnival Horizon and I have a Havana cabin, I'm just in heaven right there. I mean, that is my favorite ship if I'm in the Havana area. If I'm not in the Havana area, then it's a very tough call between the XL class and the Havana area, just because of all the amenities and all the different options available on the XL class. Um, but if I can get in the Vista, I will I will tell you this, for all of you that are looking to book the Havana area in either the XL class or the Vista class, 
If you're going to book a Havana area, book it in the Vista class 100 110%. Book it in the Vista class and you will be much happier because the Vista class Havana area is way, way better than the XL class Havana area. Keep that in mind. So, you know, yeah, I mean, you're just going to be so much happier if you're in the Vista class and you book the Havana area. And as far as the ship goes, if you book anywhere else on the Vista class, you know, maybe it's a toss up. It depends on whether you like the comfort of a smaller ship and being able to navigate easier and knowing where you want to go or all the different amenities that are available on the XL class. That's what it comes down to. So uh, Sherry says, I love the Havana. Let's put that on the screen. Um, Fireball Steve says, Havana, yes. Carnival Cruise Addict says, yes. Crystal says, it does. Thanks. I wish I had the money back to money to back-to-back -back cruises. Yep. In my cruise area, says, XL did not like the Vista. Okay. I think we got through all those. We got some new, new comments down here. Uh, Venture Cast says, I agree. I've done the Havana on both classes, and the Vista class Havana is better. Thank you for that, Venture Cast. Uh, Sean says, Don't forget to smash the like button if you haven't done that already. I would appreciate it. Justin says, The XL class. Uncle Dave says, I had a cold balcony in the Vista and I loved it. All right. One more question here because we're already over. Thank all of you for hanging in there. Um, we just did the Vista class or the XL class. So here's a question for you. Some of you have not done this yet. So if you haven't booked your next cruise and this is an option and you're thinking about it, which would you book if you had the choice? And let's say the cost was the same. Would you book an Alaskan cruise or a Caribbean cruise? Assuming the costs were the same. Alaskan cruise or Caribbean cruise? So put Alaska or Caribbean or Caribbean, however you want to pronounce it. Alaska or Caribbean. All right, Crystal is first with Caribbean. JT says Alaska. Jenna says I would go back to Alaska. Cruise Life, Alaska. All right, so three to one. Yoli says Caribbean, three to two. Um, Brad says probably Alaska, so four to two. Joanne, Caribbean, four to three. All right, they're coming in fast now. CCA makes it four to four. Sherry puts Caribbean on top, five to four. Ken ties it up, five to five. In my cruising area makes it six to five for Alaska. Fireball Steve says Alaska. So that makes it seven to five Alaska. T Boat makes it eight to five Alaska. Uncle Dave says I was stationed there. So Alaska, no doubt. That makes it nine to five Alaska. Sean makes it nine to six with the Caribbean. Frankie Floyd says Caribbean. That makes it nine to seven. Jim B's Johnson makes it Alaska 10 to seven. Venture Cast says that's tough, but I'll go Caribbean. So that makes it 10 to eight. Tess says Alaska only have costs and excursions where they come money. Um, oh, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because the excursions in Alaska are expensive. So I understand. So, but you got to pick one, Tess. <laughs> so just throw one up there. Um, Tess says the same. And Mandy says Caribbean. So that was a really close one. It was like 10, 8, 10, 9. Um, so yeah, that, that was right down to the wire there. There's still a couple of questions I had here. I'm going to save those for one of our next shows because we are already almost 15 minutes over already. Um, thank you all for, for hanging out and staying 15 minutes over. Um, great show. I had a lot of fun tonight. And uh, thank you for all the super chats. 
And congratulations to Aaron, who won the shirt tonight. And we already have 61 people carrying over Carnival Cruise Addicts, um, Pete Chucky, Cruise Life TV, Sean and Danny D and, and Carnival Cruise Addicts again, carrying over to next week for the Super Chats. We're already up to 61 on that. Uh, so thank you all, everybody. Great, great show. Great, you know, comments from everybody. Appreciate you all. And uh, Uncle Dave says, love your channel, Coach. Let's put that on the screen. Thank you, Uncle Dave. And thank you, everybody. Sherry, great to see you back on here. Frankie, as always, uh, Cruise Life TV, Carnival Cruise Addicts, Tess, everybody. Thank you so much um, for joining and hopefully we see each and every one of you back here next week. Take care, everybody. We'll see you later.